is the 2nd of December. I'm Jim Dorchak and welcome to Chili Expat Family. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I can dress up every now and then. Uh, today is a special day for Lori Thomas and I. Thomas was confirmed in, our, in the Catholic Church and uh, we were real excited for that. So I thought I'd uh, shoot a little video with me out of my normal uh, work uniform. <laughs> for lack of a better term. Well, I wanted to let you know about an adventure I had here about three weeks ago with some guests from our um, Chili Expat family chat group who came down to visit me. Uh, and I, uh, they were gracious enough to let me video the process of, and their, of their visit and uh, some of what they did here with me. So uh, what we ended up doing was visiting uh, a local farm which is a jewel in the crown of Chile and, and actually South America. This farm is called Fundo Tronador. Fundo Tronador is the only Lipizzan or Stallion farm in all of South America. And uh, I'm not an expert on Lipizzaners to say the least, but uh, these are a dying breed of, of very majestic horses that were I think originally used in Austria and by uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. And uh, they were rescued in World War II by George S. Patton. Um, and this farm here has a, a wonderful show. I'm gonna let it speak for itself. I'll, I'll stop as quick as I can here. But our, our guests were Teresa and her husband, Peanut, and uh, her father, who we call Grandpa, and uh, Thomas, Lori, and I were able to go as well on this tour of this wonderful farm. I want to thank in advance uh, Teresa, Peanut, and Grandpa for letting us film them and include them in the video. So that's who you'll see in there. They are members of our Chili Expat family chat group. And I also want to thank uh, the manager of the farm and the owners of the Fundo Tronador, who uh, are also the owners of Walmart here in Chile called Leader, who were very gracious to... Uh, invite us and and let us come uh, see their wonderful property with these beautiful horses. We expect it. Uh, hey, come over see the farm and uh, take a quick tour. Maybe you know 30 minutes, and it ended up being about oh about two hours. We were there an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, much of that involved uh, seeing the horses dance, for lack of a better term, the show. And they actually put on a private showing for us of their horses doing what they do best. We also got to see um, the laboratories where they breed the horses and where they they do all their veterinary and science work on them. And uh, it was just real, really interesting and uh, nice to see that this level of um, devotion to the beauty of these horses is maintained. So without further ado, I want to take you on the tour with us and show you the video that we had again. So um, this is all thanks to uh, our Chili Expat family members in our chat group in Telegram. And uh, it's one of the benefits of being a member of that group is we were able, they were able to go uh, see this property with me. So thank you again. So here you go. How old are they? The horses of the of the yes, riders. The horses. Uh, there is Neapolitano Brava uh, in the uh, uh, the left. Left one. We have uh, about seventeen years. Yes. And the others, he's old. Yes. Yes. We, uh, 
for a, for a caballo. La mayoría de nuestros Do we stand up and bow at them? Are older than 10 years uh, from this from this exercise. Yes. No we, prefer, we prefer the stallions. Mm -hmm. uh, not not only uh, the masculine but also the stallions to the presentation. The mares is for breeding only. Breeding and enganching, coaching. Oh yeah. Bueno. Seminado de odio, ¿Sí? te voy a mover mi otro sí. caballo, está bueno. Sí. Yo hacer eso cuando voy a trabajar. Sí, nosotros también hacemos la, la extracción de embriones. Bueno, tú usas diferentes uh, marcas, somos... breeds? Eh, no, we only have Lucisaner, a few Chilean horses, yes. pero for the owner, owner to go walk and yes. to the woods where well. Can we clap for them? Uh, and the, and the, yes. Okay. And the coche? Yeah, and the coaches. Mejor no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a new horses and we're trying to be, oh. we're training in oh, coaches. Okay. And todavía no se acostumbran a... Yeah, they're, they're a little jumpy. Yes. yes. Wow. And the uniform they're wearing, what is that? Is this the fundo or the... It's a uniform for the presentation. Only for the presentation. It's not Chileno. No, it's particular to the Chile or no, it's particular. I don't know. Maybe it's particular from the army? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's similar to the army in Chile a few the years ago or, or the officials of the army. Here. up for a bunch of gringos. <laughs> we don't care, we don't have so many presentations. Beautiful, this beautiful. So you know about General George Patton? You know of George Patton, General Patton? No, I don't know what he survived. He saved these horses. Yeah. From the from the invasion in Germany. You, you yes. know this? Yes, you know I know that in the history. Yes. For them now? Yes. Very nice. This is very kind of you to do this. <laughs> so when they're when they're having them do different things, they totally do it with the reins. Huh? How do they tell the person? Their knees.
lost any horses? Not so many. Not no. That's no. good. A year ago, a few years ago, we had problems uh, what, by breeding. Yeah. And we had mutations and in the young horses and they died. No mucho sangre. No. This is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing here for us um, and for Peanut and Teresa and Lori and there's our, our host, the veterinarian. There's the horses. They are beautiful and they're 17 years old, those horses are. And they're all males, studs. And uh, uh, Thomas got to work at the dairy for a day here which is a separate farm but it's owned by the same people on their side of the road and uh, we know the manager of that farm and he was able to get us a private uh, show this is our show they put this on just for us which is pretty significant I guess they practice every day too but anyhow very very spectacular just they're just beautiful animals so this is the carriage, and these are younger horses. And she says only 2% of them are black, and it's considered a good luck thing. Uh, and we've been told not to clap for these horses because they're still learning, and then it excites them a little bit too much. So, uh, and that's the carriage. They have a carriage house here that I've been to. It is really beautiful, all the carriages. Thomas, we need one of them carriages for our donkeys. Yeah, she just said, yeah, go over there. Well, there's Lori and Grandpa and Thomas getting in there and Peanut. Get in there, Teresa. Petting the horse. Cada dia? Every week. Cada semana. Si, si. Wow. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You're a big boy, aren't you? They give him a shower once a week. Thomas doesn't take a shower that often. Four years being the writer and making the presentations. ¿Cuántos años tiene? Thirty-three. Wow. He going to United States when the courts go. Cierto. Yeah.
smile for us. Nobody here. Everything was open. It was totally deserted. We're like, oh, what's going on here? I guess we missed everything, but we got to look around. The school of the, the school, farm school, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, farm school. Yeah, farm school and, and the university, and yeah. they send the curriculum yeah. or information, and it was good to be here in the south. Uh -huh. We okay. have every so year. Uh, about two to three people. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to see the, the library. to the Saltos of Petroe, which were formed 22,000 years ago when there was a glacier here and the volcano erupted and the lava went underneath the, the glacier and melted the ice and left the lava looking like this. Really cool. here, right about in here, about 30 minutes ago. But look at the amount of water coming through there. Uh, it's a phenomenal amount of water. And look at the, you really can't maybe see it on the, the video, but that water is just a real turquoise blue, aqua white blue, just phenomenal. And. Uh, Yeah. You guys a picture of this? A photo, not a video. I don't like videos. So this is Lago Todos Los Santos. There's Thomas and Lori. There's Peanut, and Teresa, and Grandpa. There's some mountains here. And right in here is, is Volcano Osorno. Okay. Argentina is that mountain right there. Okay. And there's houses out here that you can only get to by that ferry or other ferries. And that is a landslide there. You notice how the sand is black? That's because this is ash. <laughs> 